we're still at Jägermeister. Um, in fact, we're here to see the co-working space, which you just opened or launched a couple yes. of months ago. Yes. And it's pretty amazing. I will link the video in the other uh, in the description. It's in German, but um, it's more about the impressions anyway. If there's questions you have, just leave a comment and I'm very happy to answer it. Um, but you're all here today from Blackboard, Katharina, uh, Andy, and there's also a bunch of other people because we're running the bootcamp at the moment. Yes. Um, we did the Slack implementation. So what was the idea? When did you start? What's the bootcamp? What is, um, what is Slack? How did you... What are we doing here? Mm -hmm. Maybe I should start quickly. Um, so actually, we are here working with Jägermeister since almost two years. I remember there was an email from you, Alex. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to it was me. Yes. So um, we know each other for a while, and I'm super excited today that we are hosting the bootcamp um, for Slack. And I guess, as some people might know already, for us, it's not always just about there is a tool and let's tell people how to use a tool, but there is a backstory behind it. Um, also why we chose Slack and why we think Slack is one way to bring uh, communication and collaboration to the digital age and to um, foster stuff like transparency, uh, etc., working more digital, more flexible, etc. Um, and what we say is that it's not really helpful to just say, look, people, here is a new tool, yes. <laughs> enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, but we want to make sure that people understand why it's necessary to have tools like Slack and how to implement them or how to use them in a very effective way and we put a lot of work in it and uh, creating a framework that fits to Jägermeister and also to the fact that you are an international company so it's not only German employees um, but we have people in the US, UK and so um, this is for us I think a very exciting thing because we need to make sure all of you understand how to use this tool in the correct way and um, we are doing this boot camp with all the German employees at the moment so we ran 450 at yes 450 of course that's a lot yes. Here. Yes. and I think there are 1000 worldwide yes. so mm -hmm. we still have a bit to go <laughs> yes um, today is let's say the second round so we have boot camp number Five, five and six today, yes, right? right? Yes, five and six. So we make sure we speak to each and every employee and make sure all of them um, get a feeling and understand how Slack is actually a tool that yes. can improve communication and collaboration. But maybe you can explain a bit more what was the reason behind and yes. what we want to achieve with it. Yeah, because we have, uh, we are a big company and international, you told it. We are sure, we are convinced we have too much meetings, endless meetings, endless PowerPoint charts and slides and so on, and a lot of telephone conferences. And we have to change that. We have to work in the modern way with new rules, with new tools. We have this uh, cultural change in the company. And it's, it's more important uh, to break down the, the silos, to, to work more uh, to, uh, transparent, open-minded, and mm -hmm. it was uh, it is more about the, the attitude not to learn how I have to use Slack, click here and click there. It's more to understand the reason behind. Yeah. Uh, that was very important, and I think uh, with you, with the partner, it was a very, very good way um, to have you on, on site here in Wolfenbüttel and in the international boot camps, uh, because you have the, a good way uh, to make clear the reason behind mm -hmm. and why it's important uh, to explain it or why we use Slack not as a new tool mm -hmm. and, or another tool on top because we have Facebook, we have WhatsApp and all these things mm -hmm. and I think you are a, a good partner to explain it and make clear and, and explain the sense behind. Mm -hmm. How do people feel about, you know, when you come and say there's a new tool and from now on we use this for collaboration, are they afraid, are they concerned, what yes. are the... What are the f I think often they are confused <laughs> because uh, this, this topic digitalization mm -hmm. is uh, top of mind and all of them said, oh WhatsApp, email, oh what else? And another tool, oh my god, it's, uh, it's an over... Low, also ja, du siehst den Wald vor lauter Bäumen nicht. Genau. <lacht> yes, uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's very important uh, uh, to make sure that isn't another uh, tool that combines everything. Mm -hmm. Ja, 
Yeah, and I think it's also important to explain to everyone that today these Slack boot camps are just a little part of a big, bigger thing, of a big picture. Of a what is journey. the big picture? What is the vision that Yoga Meister has? It's about shaping how we would like to communicate mm -hmm. or yeah. um, to collaborate. And yes. that's one milestone. Yeah. And I don't know the vision in five years, uh, but that's the asset we, we created today um, or two yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Um, yes. Communicate. Yeah, open-minded, break down silos, uh, efficiently, uh, in the short way, easy way. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah. Is it difficult to convince everyone? Yes. On, yes. <laughs> yes and yes. no. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah. Of course, um, we are tired of uh, getting new tools mm. because there are, were a lot of tools um, implemented in the wrong way yeah. um, without uh, the behavior side so um, we are tired so it's uh, difficult to mm. convince everybody and um, to tell everyone it's not about the tool it's about your behavior and mm -hmm. why we think you need to change mm -hmm. your behavior and of course it's difficult yeah and the Sorry, and the big problem or the big question was, oh my God, I lost my email. Yeah, and from a practical point of view, when, when it comes to the organization and the, um, of the Slack boot camps, when they come in, uh, people and, and waiting a keynote, um, you see a lot of question marks and a lot of, hmm, what will come? And is this just another tool workshop where they explain to me, click here and then it's this and click here. Mm -hmm. And so the keynote at the beginning that's the point where we try to set an open mindset, mm. explain this is kind of different, it's getting to communication at its core, um, how you want to collaborate and bring this transparency and what's behind, what's in for you, where's the value. Yes. And this is what we try in the first half an hour in a keynote. Yeah, I was going to ask, like, what is the, the boot camp, like, how long does it take? Um, and can you brief, like, very quickly give us yeah. an overview of what are the steps you're going through and why was it important? Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, um, so what we do here is, um, as Andy mentioned, we start with a keynote just to give a bit an insight of what is going to happen, why we do all of this. Mm -hmm. And then we split into four groups at the moment. Um, yes. So we have four boot camps in parallel. Mm -hmm. They're about two hours. So it's two hour hours of learning how is this whole tool meant to be, actually. And not there is not just chatting, but yes. there is a lot more to this. Mm -hmm. So that's two hours of bootcamp, and then we do a little wrap up, where we hand out the starter kit. So yeah. Maybe you want the to kit. And uh, show it a little bit. I think it's there's like, so many. We'll link the starter kit video um, <laughs> uh, in the in the description. And, yeah, and what is the moment when people have the, the like aha moment, or what is what is? Oh, it's, uh, it's different. Is there certain moments yeah. when it's like emojis are like? It's, Super different for everyone. <laughs> yes. Of course, they are funny. Yeah. I think uh, a key moment is the keynote, I think, uh, because everybody gets to know um, what is about and um, I think and also it's the questioning their own behavior. Yes, I think of course. That is what happens. I think yes. the most times. part is in the keynote. Yeah. Yes. Um, did, did you join a boot camp? Magic. Was there a magic moment or something? Um, uh, to, to, um, to see or to have an overview. Uh, about synchron and asynchron communications, mm -hmm. which way is the best to communicate? Yeah. That helps a lot. That was yeah. uh, for me. That was my personal magical moment. That's really nice. <laughs> so nice. Yes. Yeah, I think they're they're quite different. For somebody, it's just you know explaining. You can use it on your mobile phone on yes. the go. Just use speech to text to send a message. Um, for others, it's okay. I don't need to upload any files anymore, but I can work with links and everybody in my channel, in my team can click on the link and work in the same yeah. document. So um, I think it's for everyone something different. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I think um, a, goal, a goal could be um, to work or to, to write or answer in threads. <laughs> it could okay. be that yeah. was a challenge. So that's the challenge? <laughs> yes, I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it going to replace the email like 100%? No. For no. internal communication? No, no. no. For internal communication, Complete. maybe. <laughs> yeah. But of course, uh, there are certain topics and they are um, email related. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if some of our customers write us, it's email. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think um, we have 
we have different um, yeah different colleagues employees mm -hmm. not all of them uh, are 100 percent convinced and they are happy they have their email correspondence mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe yeah. but we have to uh, accept uh, the the channels they use and uh, yeah. I think that's important to it accept that. I think in general what we always tell them is we don't take anything away from you and we don't put anything on top yes. but we try to streamline processes yes. and communication yeah. and I think for most of them it makes sense and some take a bit longer others are completely switching in the very moment that they leave our boot camp. Yes of course. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sounds good. Thank you so much um, for Thank having you. us here, for giving us so deep insights and also for making it possible to share um, insights yeah. on these topics. You're very welcome. Thanks Thank a lot. You.